It's recording now. Bonana Oreo Oreo Oreo. Welcome back, guys. Today it's a very special evening, and tonight uh, we will learn uh, tea time with Confucius teaching. Uh, so today uh, we will have dragon, phoenix, pearl. This is a very special green tea, and I will have tea with my son. And this is how we learn about Confucius teaching. And then we also have this uh, wonderful mint Oreo. So today is Thanksgiving, so we want to dedicate it uh, to a very special day. What is the meaning of Thanksgiving? Is to give thanks. So we want to give thanks by learning holy teaching. So today uh, we will have tea with Confucius. So we're gonna open to uh, my favorite line and that this is the Analect of Confucius. And this is number 12. Confucius said, Whenever there are three people, one can surely be my teacher. Recognize their goodness to follow and their badness to correct oneself. A very, very profound statement by Confucius. And my good son, since today we have tea time, do you have any question uh, what we learned so far about Confucius saying? Mm -hmm. When three people sit together, at least one person that we can learn their goodness and one person who has the bad quality, we can learn to correct ourselves. Do you have any comment? Nope. If you don't have any comment, then I will share with you uh, what, uh, so we can learn together. This is not that daddy is correct, because of course I cannot share with you uh, what is in Confucius' mind when he say this. But, as you can see, Confucius taught us how to have humility in life when three people come together. What does that mean? There's, there's you is one person. The other is someone who has a very good quality, who are very, who exemplify a good character. And the other person who has uh, maybe bad quality, who had a uh, hot temper and negative habit. So what Confucius mean is to apply in nowadays, because most of the time when we see somebody who is really good, we say that person is good and we just go away with nothing. There's nothing we can learn from that. Sometimes we even jealous. Oh, this person's so good, I hate them. <laughs> and then there's another one when someone who is doing something really bad, instead of recognize what Confucius taught is to correct ourselves. Instead of doing that, when we see somebody who is really bad, we said, that darn son of a gun, you know, he is such a horrible person. And we start yappity yappity talking how bad somebody is. But what Confucius really mean is when you see somebody who really good, who is better than you, then you look at, uh, observe them. What kind of uh, quality, what is uh, something that I can learn from this person? If this person always on time, can I learn how to be like that? If this person go to work and he is so diligent, you know, doing so many things, uh, anything, he is ready to work, ready to learn, ready to do better. So with that diligent effort, can we learn from that person? You know, because he had good quality and he had good manner, very respectful. Instead of being jealous and envy, can we practice learning from that quality? You know, Sometimes we can, you know, when we see somebody good, like for example, if somebody who's better than me, sometimes I feel jealous. Sometimes, you know, I feel um, like, uh, you know, having, a, you know, jealousy or envy about that person instead of telling myself, what can I learn from this person? Uh, 
So that's very important. Uh, nowadays, it is very hard uh, to have that learning mentality. But if we think about it, if somebody exemplify good quality and we are having an opportunity to learn from that person, why not do it? You know, why do we have to go through life and suffer or uh, be a mediocre? Mediocre uh, meaning that, you know, we just be the same old self, refuse to learn, refuse to grow. This is a very good tea. The second part of Confucius saying, do you understand when Confucius said, when you recognize the badness in someone, you review yourself. Do you know what Confucius mean by that? Yes. What do you think Confucius mean by that? I think Confucius means that when someone is doing something bad or something incorrect, then instead of instead of just saying that they're bad and instead of saying that they're improper or something, then you should, instead of saying that, you should reflect on yourself and think, oh, how can I improve myself with this person? How can I help myself because I might have this bad quality? And then how do I help myself instead of blaming, instead of um, telling the other person that they're bad and think about them and thinking about them wrong? Uh, thank you for that comment. Uh, let me give you an example. Let's say that you sit at, with someone at Starbucks and uh, they're on the phone and all they do is say provocative thing, negative thing, or they talk really loud, very rude, and all they say cursing word. Uh, how can you reflect from Confucius teaching? What would you do to review yourself? I would, hmm. well, then I would, if that was the situation, then I would review myself and think, oh, do I sometimes say negative things to other people? Oh, do I say things that are bad, about people that are bad? And then I review myself, and then, and, and then I think about it, and then I review. Do, am I always like this? Am I always this mean to this person? So I reflect and think. Mm, I Let think me interrupt you. You said something very nice. You know, cultivating the virtue, the way of the enlightened saint. You said you reflect on it and then you think about it. You know, thinking can only be in our head. Mm -hmm. uh, what can you do beyond the thinking? Well, you can practice it daily. So when you talk to people, when you do things with people, when you're with people, and you just practice those things. And then over time, those tiny little details can add up. Mm -hmm. Indeed. When Confucius said, if you notice someone had bad quality, you review yourself. Because nowadays, whenever we see somebody who had uh, a bad quality, negative quality, a hot temper, negative habit, our first instinct would be to say negative thing about that person. Or in our head, we say, this person is very bad. This person has that and that. Ooh, how bad it is. If we look into the dictionary, the word complain, complain meaning to cause suffering to oneself. So Confucius said, we all also have that negative quality inside of us. When we recognize someone had negative quality or bad quality, we have to review. That way, then we don't have negative insight. Because whenever we have negative thinking, negative doing, we have negative consequences that come with that. Our life is not going to be positive, not going to be beautiful. 
how can our life be positive if all we have is negative thinking? So Confucius said when we recognize that someone does not have good quality, we review ourselves so that we can be an exemplified character. If someone is cussing and always say negative thing, then like you say, we review, do we, ha- do we sometimes say that? Do we have that thinking in our head? And then you remind yourself, so this is called application of the enlightened saying. You remind yourself, when I open my mouth, I have to be respectful. I will not say negative thing like this person. So you remind yourself constantly. And you remind yourself, you know, I have had example today. So when you talk to your parent or you talk to your friend, remind yourself to be respectful because you know that if someone who received your message, they probably not feeling well if all you say is negative thing or complaining or it's a provocative thing. So Confucius taught us instead of pointing finger, instead of going outward out of ourselves, blaming on other or say negative thing about other, we review. We also have that kind of inside of us, those negative things inside of us. So it is a way to reflect within oneself and improve. So Confucius is not saying that, you know, we should always think negative. We should always put ourselves down. But Confucius is saying that we can be a better solid person inside if we use situation in life to improving oneself to better oneself because some people like for example when i work i go to work and they said you know how come this person is always positive and they say i want to be positive like that to be positive is not overnight To be positive is not one day or saying one word. To be positive is using every opportunity in life to apply, to practice. To practice how to improve, how to have that good character. So, of course, our time is limited. So today, we learn something very special. We learn about Confucius teaching. When... Three people come together. One person can be our teacher and one person give us an example to review our hot temper and negative habit, how we can improve. In that situation, from the good person, we can learn how to be great. From the bad person, we learn how to correct our fault false and our fault and our mistake so we can also improving and be a more positive person but learning can only be in our head how can we utilize that to apply in our daily life that's called cultivation in our daily life so i hope that everyone who uh, had an opportunity to stop by to have tea with us that we can all learn together of course here I am not trying to teach anybody. We are here to learn to have a new perspective because we don't know what Confucius, the enlightened saint, mean. But what we can do is how we can utilize the enlightened saint teaching to apply in our daily life. So today is a very special Thanksgiving. And what is Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is how to give thanks that's the essence of thanksgiving not about gifts not about black friday not about eating turkey Um, thanksgiving is you know spend quality time learning holy teaching learn something that benefit our life learn something to have more positive meaning in our life i hope you all enjoy and i hope you all will stop by next time for the tea time with us thank you 
Sky, do you have any last word uh, for the audience? Tea. Uh, Sky, also invite you all to have a wonderful tea time with us. Thank you and have a meaningful day. And don't forget to subscribe so that we can learn together. Tea.